Good morning, ladies and gents. Guess Keck's doing a bit more of Oblivion. And we've kind of reached a bit of a, a key moment in here. Poor old Lulu has been strung up and stabbed and, and flayed and all the rest of it. That's definitely not a corpse model. Um, I forgot what we need to do. We need to, to do something. Oh, we need to talk to him or something. He's dead, killed by the surviving members of the Black Hand. You don't even realise the real trait is still among them. I have adv they advanced me to speaker in Le Chance's place. Between the hours of midnight and 3am I got to speak to Arquin about the Night Mother and all of the Black Hand, including me, will be teleported to the Night Mother's resting place for some ancient ritual. I must do as Arkin says so I can expose the traitor. Okay, so between midnight and 3. Oh, nice! Dear speaker, <coughs> the darkness shrouds the Empire. We can travel to the resting place of the Night Mother. Oh, did it say PM or AM? I didn't notice. I just saw 2.43. Night Mother. Oh no, it is. So that we may seek her guidance. Yeah. Are you ready to travel now to her resting place? I reckon I am. Yes, let's go. Because what could what could possibly go wrong? Excuse me. So we've been teleported to. Oh. I can't move, of course. Behold the night mother. The locals call this statue the lucky old lady. They have no idea how lucky they really are. For <laughs> Those stone babies. She masks the entrance into the Dark Brotherhood's most revered unholy site. The crypt of the night mother herself. In a moment we will begin. I will recite an incantation. And we can proceed down into the crypt and seek an audience with the Night One. I know this is all very overwhelming, teacher. Just follow along and you'll be fine. Now, let's go see what the future holds, shall we? But of course. Incantations revealed the hidden door to the Night Mother's crypt. I must follow the other members of the Black Hand into the crypt. Once we're down there, the traitor will surely try to destroy. Oh no, the Night Mother. I must stop the traitor at all costs. Oh god. I still can't move! I can look around, but I still can't move. Okay, I should probably. Hang on, actually, actually, we're going to try and play this safe, assuming I can actually hit her. I'm going to try going for the. Paralyze. It's always a great spell. Oh, I see. It's all those chunks of something. Okay. Ah, the ghost of what the night. What is the meaning of this desecration? Who has disturbed my ancient son? I'm watching you very carefully. Dearest night mother, most unholy maiden, please, we beg your mercy in this our time of need. The black hand seeks your guidance. Ah, yes, I have been expecting you. The listener now kneels by sickness, as does his successor. There is a traitor amongst you. The traitor is dead, dear brother. We have come now to ask your blessing. Anoint one of us your listener so we can restore the Black Hand. Foolish Duke. Lucien Lachance served Sidney to his dying breath. The Black Hand remains tainted by betrayal. Restoration is impossible. Enough. Enough of this. You will all suffer for the pain you have caused me. I will destroy your night mother, and the Dark Brotherhood will fall. I still can't do anything! <coughs> Can I? The traitor still lives. It is Matthew Belmont. Do not let him harm the night mother. Kill him! I don't want to hit the other ones. Ow! Hang on, I'm trying to... I'm nearly dead. I'm really concerned about hitting the wrong person. There we go. The traitor, Matthew. Matthew Bellemont is dead. And the crisis that has plagued the Dark Brotherhood is now over. You say that, there's only two of us left. The Nine, the nine Mother still needs to name a new listener. I wonder who she's going to name. I should wait and hear what she has to say. Right. Now is not the time for us to speak. All right, all right. We must hear the words of the night mother. 
She will guide us in this hour of despair. Right, fine. Hello. So, at last we meet. I have been following your strange journey through the Dark Brotherhood, young one. Your killing of the old man Bane, the execution of Adamus Erda, the way you stalked and murdered each member of the Draconis family. Your purification of the Jaden Hall Sanctuary. You, a mere underling, even managed to single-handedly eliminate half of my black hand. Okay. <clears throat> um, ha! I, re I reveled in their slaughter. Uh, I live only to serve the Black Hand. Let's try and get on side. Let's try not to annoy anyone. I know, dear child. I know. You carried out your orders to the letter in the name of the Black Hand. How could I be anything but happy with you? No, my anger lies with the rest of my children. You see, I have known of Matthew Belmont's intentions since he was just a boy. I knew of his thirst for vengeance. I could have informed my listener, but I refused. Refused to reward such incompetence. Ungol was weak. Indeed, I allowed Matthew Bellamont to proceed on his destructive course, just as I allowed you to intercept him. Um, but why? Okay, then our destinies were interwoven? Yes, dear. Poor Iduna, don't bring Iduna into this. Um, so what happens now, Holy, unholy matron? <laughs> Any treasures. When you are ready, speak with me again, and I will deliver you safely to the only place you can truly call home, the Jaden Hall Sanctuary. There is much work to be done. When you are back in the sanctuary, speak with Arquan. She will serve as your humble servant and guide. Yeah, because she's the only one left alive. Well, actually, I might I might promote the Dark Guardian back in Chainmill as well. Any treasures you may seek, Mother Wartsprig, I mean, you know, what more could you want? I don't know if it's me being blind, but I'm not seeing a lot of treasures going on. Search him. Ah, oh, he had illusionary stuff. I can take your clothes. An iron longsword. Oh, open large chest. <gasps> Boots of the Savannah. Interesting, okay. Take them, take them. Oh no, bums, I forgot, I've still got that bloody axe. Ah, oh, I forgot about that. Ah, oh, annoying. Boreal, I want to keep Boreal. Dagger of Storm, Dagger of Absorption. Hang on. They've all got Daggers of Absorption. Um, absorb Intelligence 8 points. Oh, I don't know. I might just bin off this thing because we don't need the money and it's just so ridiculously heavy. Oh, there's another chest over here and some books. The five tenets. Voltag. I like the sound of that. Um, vest of warding, shield 8%. Actually, we'll have that. Nope. Nice. I suspect. Oh no, you're dead as well, aren't you? Robbing money. Why have they only got iron stuff? Rubbish. Is there another one? Yes, this one here. I might be able to buy some money as well. Four gold. I knew it was worth it. Right. Do what you will. You've returned. I trust you've weighed the importance of your new position. For you will soon hear words that will change lives. Alter destinies. And I hope you've taken everything you desire from my crypt. Once you leave, you will be unable to return. So I'm not even allowed to come back here even though I'm in charge. Um, I'm ready. Send me to the sanctuary.
Well, I'm not sure I like that. I don't know about that. Oh, that's when it's from. I did wonder why I was still wasn't able to bid off the Blade of Woe. And now I know. Yeah, Arquid and I have been teleported to the Chain Door Sanctuary. I should speak now with Arquid, who will serve as my servant and guide in the days to come. Because it's only you! I offer myself as your humble servant and guide. Please allow me to mentor you in your new role. Here's what I believe we should do next. I will stay here and attempt to re-establish this sanctuary. I will begin recruiting new members. You must fulfill your new duties. The statue in Breville serves as a conduit between the Night Mother and the Listener. Once a week, you must visit the statue. Talk to it. You will be presented with a list of names and locations. These are people who have prayed to the Night Mother. They request a visit from a speaker to arrange someone's assassination. All you need to do is visit the statue once a week. Get the list of names and locations and pass it on to me here in the sanctuary. I may not be doing that. Do this and I will give you your share of the sanctuary's weekly earnings. There's so much work to be done. So much work. Unfortunately, CBA can't be asked to do something like that. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna ignore that one. Okay, hello Dark Guardian. You're now my Dark Guardian. I've always wanted to watch. Oh hang on, I just realized. Where's my where are my followers? Are they back in Apple Watch? Or are they here? They might still be in Apple Watch. This is the problem when you get teleported to places. Because they didn't get... They, they weren't... Actually, I don't know. Yeah, I need to go and see if I can find them. They've probably automatically waited. So let's hope they're still waiting for us in Apple Watch. Which is that one? Yep. Unless they're actually running all the way across the map towards me. I hear... Yeah, there you are. Follow. You're following me, aren't you? Yeah, there we go. So they're all following. We're back, thankfully. The gang's back together. Right. I'm not doing that. Okay. Um, whispers of alteration training. I mean, why? I don't know. I've defeated the Grand Champion. I forgot some. I never did that, did I? Anyway, I've got everything. Namira. I've summoned a room to get some help. I need to remember. Uh, less attractive. Can't do that. Seeking roots. Don't think we can do that. Path of Dawn. We might actually have to have a crack on with this one. Yeah. I wish I don't want to complete the whole thing. That's the unicorn, isn't it? I don't do that. Yeah, there is that. That's the DLC. That's the DLC. Dora Nibbon Bay. I could do that. I don't know. It's not really important. Though, is it? Let's crack on with the actual main storyline. We need to go to the Arcade University. Okay. Which, I always find it difficult to get in and out of the Arcade University, so I'm going to fast travel there. Because sometimes the map, it tells you, it's like, go th go this way, go through this door, and then you go through the door, and it's like, nope, back the way you go. The Archmage returneth. Yeah. I love the Archmage quest, like the University quest, it's great. The Miskatonic University quest. You know, Mystic Archives, it's like the Ord Library. All these references I'm making, by the way, are Lovecraft references, if you're not familiar. Hello. Got the message about about three years ago. Um, Mythic Dawn. You know of them? One of the most secretive of all the Daybreak Cults. Not much is known about them. They follow the teachings of Maincar Cameron, whom they call the Master, a shadowy figure in his own right. I found one of their books. Ah, yes. Commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes. Wonderful. You have a scholarly interest in Daedric cults, then. Absolutely. I need to find the mythic dawn. Find them, huh? I won't poke my nose any further. Official business and all that. I'm used to working with the blades. Don't <laughs> I forgot I was in the blades. In any case, finding them won't be easy. I've studied Maincar Cameron's writings a bit myself. 
at least those that I could find. It is clear from the text that Mankar Cameron's commentaries come in four volumes, but I've only ever seen the first two books. I believe that his writings contain... I remember this. ...to the location of the Mythic Dawn's secret shrine to Meru's Dagon. Those who unlock this hidden path have proven themselves worthy to join the ranks of the Mythic Dawn Cowboy. Finding the shrine is the first test. If you want to find them, you'll need all four volumes of the commentaries. Where do I find them? Here. You can have the library's copy of volume two. Treat it gently, if you please. As I've said, I've never even seen the third and fourth volumes. You should try first edition over in the market district. Fintius, the proprietor, caters to specialist collectors. He may have an idea of where to look. I've got a feeling. I've got a feeling that we had already found one and I'd taken it back to Frostcrag Spire. I'll have a check in a minute anyway. Mysterium Xarxes. The holy book of the mythic dawn. Supposedly written by Meru's Dagon himself. Supposedly. Supposedly. It would be an artifact of great and evil power. Evil power. Okay. I'm off. It was so nice chatting with you. It is. What's it here? Fighters Guild, Volume One. I like that. Okay. It's amazing the amount of work that went into all these, all this book, all these writing, all these books. IRL, Manny Marco, King of Worms. I mean, that's fairly relevant. I'm surprised he didn't mention that. But anyway, that book. Anyway, that's fine. Right, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go to school for a bit. Can I? Hello. I, I, it's like I'm doing, I'm bearing in mind I'm the Archmage, it's like I'm doing an observation, a lesson observation to see what they're learning. Not impressed so far. Nope, that's fine, not impressed. Uh, you're going to be marked as requires improvement, I think. Okay, um, let's go to, hang on, before I go to the book thing, let's go to, because I've just, I've just got a feeling... No mountain. I've got a feeling that we have got one of the books. I think didn't we pick one up in a really random place? I'm pretty sure we did. Null Mountain. I love I like the fact we had to kill a barbarian in Null Mountain. That sort of made sense. I like that. Oh by the way, I have now got um the original three Stalker games, like Clear Skies, Call of Pripyat and Shadow of Chernobyl. Um the console versions, finally, I mean, <clears throat> I had them on PC, and I can't do keyboard and mouse, uh, yeah, um, so I kind of never really played them, but I, it's that sort of thing, like, post-apocalyptic, but more realistic than, say, Fallout, um, is, is, is amazing, I have started them, but I'm planning on doing a long playthrough of those, of those games, possibly a YOLO playthrough, although that game is very difficult, so... <clears throat> I mean, having played it, I've died like, I don't know, five, six times in the first, like, hour, so, maybe, well, first couple of hours, so it's, um, yeah, it's quite challenging, but I would like to do a, a, um, a playthrough of that, so expect that at some point. I love that game. I mean, it looks, it looks, it sort of, it looks its age, let's say, but it's still a fantastic game. Um, so, yeah, I'm so glad they actually finally brought them out on console. I remember people online. Why have I still got that? People online saying like, "Oh, they're never going to release it on um, on console because it's just it's too complicated to put on the console." Oh, here we go. Oh, volume one and two. Bum bums. Have I got one already? Hang on. What have I already got? Let's have a check. Yeah, I've got two. Hmm. I could have sworn I had. No, oh, I don't know. Um, oh, also, let's bin off some crap while we're here. Hang on, what have I got? But Bow of the Inferno we don't need. Dagger Absorption. Oh, what does Blade of Woe do now? Oh, okay, actually, that's pretty good. That's not bad. We're going to hang on to that. Dagger of Storms. I will hang on to, because why not? Uh, what have we got here? Let's just, just try to... We don't need all that gubbins, do we? Uh... Binning off stuff that's just weighing us down, really. Uh, what else we got? Vest of Warding. Only weighs one. The problem is, it looks like it's an open waistcoat. It might be a bit, might be a bit revealing for, for Elsa to wear. But it's, um... Oh yeah, I forgot I had them. 
and a pumpkin. Don't even pick it up. All those. All that. So there we go. Um, I haven't picked up any of those things. Yeah, so we've got volume one and two. Three and four. I think four's the really difficult one. Three, I think, is in the bookshop, but he's like, you'll never find the, the other one. Twelve grand soul gems. Bonkers. Um, oh, that's fine. 240. That's fine. Um, yeah, let's take volume one as well, just in case, actually, thinking about it. Nope. I do want that one, don't I? Um, nope. Right. So we'll grab this, head to the bookshop, see what he says. Mythic Dawn commentary. Volume 2. Volume 1. Okay, we'll head out here. Fast travel to Imperial City. Go to the bookshop. I've got a feeling he also possibly asked us to do something while we're there. He's like, well, I'll give you the book, but... 348. He's still open. He should still be open. Having worked in a bookshop, that thing of when people come in at the last minute is quite annoying. It, like... 5.28 and he's like, I'm just about to shut the door and he's like, I just need to look for something. Anyway. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm looking for Mysterium Xarxes. No, we're not. We're looking for the other. Hang on, what's he got? Oh, Barter. Anyway. You must be referring to Mancar Cameron's commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes. Common mistake. It comes in four volumes. The first two volumes are rare, but you may run across them from time to time. The third and fourth are impossible. I need volume three and four. Happen to have a copy of volume three, but I'm afraid it is a special order. I'll be paid for by another customer. Sorry. Gwyneth would be terribly disappointed if it was gone when we came to pick it up. So sorry again. Right, I'm just thinking, I need to speak to him. Can't you just run it through a photocopier for me? Who's Gwyneth? Valenwood. Is he a Bosma? He's already late for his appointment to pick up the book. Feel free to wait for him if you want to see <laughs> the fact again. We could have turned up at any moment and it happens to be now. Volume four. I wish I had one, but I have never even seen a copy. Bums. What can I interest you? What the hell? Document six thousand six hundred and fifty two? Puerile banter, I like it. Mad document of mad bants. Speech drain speechcraft and personality. I like that. That's kind of cool. It's insanely expensive. Okay, glories and laments. What else have we got? Anything else that might give us any bonus points? Last king of the aliens. And wolf right now. I don't know. I don't think there's much really that's going to help us too much. Noise and laments. I don't know what that's about. I wish you'd let you read the blurb on them. Anyway, we will. We're going to wait. Because I have a feeling he might walk in the door at any moment. I'd rather not have to murder him to get it. I'll start recording when he comes in. Oh, there we go. I'm here for my book, Mancar Cameron's Commentaries, Volume 3. Ah, of course, here you go. Keep us in mind for any future news. Thank you. Thank you. I can't tell you how long I've been looking for this book. I don't think he's going to give it up very easily, is he? How are you today? Hello. What can I do for you? Give me the book. Commentaries, Volume 3. Have you been following me? Leave me alone. That book is mine. I, do, I want to buy it from you. Oh, tell me about the Mythic Dawn. The Mythic Dawn? Are you... I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know anything about any cult. I didn't say it was a cult. Don't play stupid, you're in way over your head. I beg your pardon? You presume to tell me about Diedric cults? I'll have you know that I visited the shrine of Shea Gorath during the festival of the Mad. I've spoken with Hermaeus Mora beneath the full moons. I've... They killed the Emperor, you fool. What? The Mythic Dawn were the ones? You have to believe me. I truly had no idea. I mean, I knew they were a Diedrich cult. 
Manka Cameron's views on Mayroon's Dagon are fascinating, revolutionary even. But to murder the Emperor, Mara preserve us. Uh, you better give me that book. So at least he's got enough common sense to not part more of a fight. Yes, of course. I don't want anyone to think I had anything to do with their insane plots. Here, volume three is yours. What you do with it is your business. I need the fourth as well. You can only get volume four directly from a member of the Mythic Dawn. I had set up a meeting with the sponsor, as he called himself. Here, take this note they gave me. It tells you where to go. I don't want anything else to do with the Mythic Dawn. Good lad, good lad. We'll let him go. I wonder, like, if you follow him, where he goes. Because if he's come from Valenwood, I mean... Let's follow him for a minute. I don't know why. I just want to see... Is there, like, some secret... What? What? No, he's here. He teleported out of the out of the area. I thought he'd literally just, like, the game had despawned him. Yeah, I wonder where he's programmed to go, then. Interesting. Yeah, the game's got, like, a secret area of Valenwood coded in just for if you happen to follow him back. That'd be really cool. Yeah, I wonder where he died. I wonder where he goes. Or you might just walk around in circles, God knows. I noticed that in Cyberpunk, there was somebody, I can't remember who it was now, and they, I, after speaking to them, they were like, I've got to go back to, I've got to leave Night City or something. And then, like, he ran off and just basically ran around in circles in the market, and I was like, he looks a bit lost. But anyway. I need to get back into Cyberpunk, I need to play Phantom Liberty as well. Anyway, stop talking about that, right. Where is he going? Should we, just, should we just abandon him? And then, let's see what this note says. Um... He told me that Volume 4 can only be given to you by a member of the Mythic Dawn. He'd set up a meeting with one called the Sponsor. He was to go alone and sit at the table in the sunken sewer beneath the Imperial City. I will go and take that meeting instead, but should find Boris first. Where is Boris? Yeah, let's, let's start it. Let's go and find Boris. Isn't he like... Oh no, he's, he's something to do with the blades, isn't he, I think? Or something. It's been so long since we did any of this... Um, uh, main quest line, it's sort of forgetting where we were. Oh, is he in... Is he in the boarding house? He is. He's in the, uh, Premier Inn. That's Boris, isn't it? Hello. You're not easy to get hold of. What have you found out? What have you been doing all this time? Um, Mythic Dawn meeting. This just might be the break we've been looking for. Good work. We need to get that fourth book back. If Tarmina is right, we can use these books to locate the Mythic Dawn's hidden shrine. Yeah. Let's go. I know that part of the sewer. Oh no, he's going to take me there. Uh, okay, sewers. Tell me about sewers. The sewers run underneath the whole Imperial City. There are access points in every district. The Blades have occasion to use them in our undercover work, as well as a means to move around the city without attracting attention. Um, okay, Mythic Dawn. They'll pay for the murder of the Emperor. Now that we know who they are, it's only... Uh, I don't want to actually do this bit now. I want to kind of save and leave it there for the minute. Um, okay. He's going to presumably start walking. No, oh, no, he's going to wait for me. That's fine. So, we'll save and leave it there. And in the next part, we're going to go and see if we can get our, our hands on Volume 4. I feel like we've accomplished a fair bit in this. We've, we've become the head of, <laughs> excuse me, head of the Dark Brotherhood. Or the listener. The big ear at the top of the chain. And then, um... Uh, and then we've also sort of progressed the main storyline a little bit, so there we go. So yeah, in the next part we'll go and try and get Volume 4, and then we'll be ready to dismantle the Mythic Dawn, hopefully. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this, take care of yourselves, and I shall see you again very soon.